What's up everybody? So this is Hector with Torque Junkies. Today I'm reviewing the 2018 Volkswagen Atlas. Today at Schumacher, North Palm Beach. They're located on North Lake Boulevard, right off of I-95 going east. They're a really great dealership. Thank you so much for letting me use your vehicle. Thank you. All right, now let's start with the video. Now if you're wondering why I'm not starting on the outside of the vehicle, it's because it's raining today. So I'm gonna start from the inside. My initial impressions are I really like the way it looks. It handles like a, um, it doesn't feel like an SUV, it doesn't feel really heavy, it feels very light. That could be also because it is built on the MQB platform, which is what the Golf family shared on and a lot of Audis have right now, like the Audi TT. So it could be because of that, it makes it feel more like a uh, nimble car, it doesn't feel as big as it actually is. Now I know I'm just driving around this parking lot right now, however it, it's pretty quiet though, I'd say it's very quiet. It does share the same uh, V6 engine that the Touareg has uh, on this model. There is a four cylinder turbo version that will be available, uh, however this dealership does not have it yet. So I'm curious how that one drives. But this one feels very smooth. It's very nimble, feels very easy to drive, takes bumps well. So this car has a lot of really good things that the Tiguan was missing. Obviously, this is not a replacement for the Tiguan. There is a new Tiguan coming out very soon within the next few months. However, it does have a lot of things right now that Volkswagen doesn't have in their other vehicles. Like for example, it has a six year warranty, bumper to bumper warranty, which is actually, I think the one of the largest manufacturer warranties right now on an SUV, if not the biggest. You know, to be honest, it feels like a really big Passat. Like it feels just really nimble. It doesn't feel like a, I don't know, like it's strange. It's a seven passenger. It's big, it looks like a seven passenger. However, it doesn't feel like one. It feels easy going, easy to drive, very nimble. I'm, I'm not having any issues moving this around all these other cars right now. In an SEL Premium, you're also gonna come standard with the four motion, four wheel drive system, which that's pretty cool. You have standard LED lights, but my favorite though, like I said, is the, is the screen for the gauges. Very, very nice. It also has autonomous braking, but unlike previous Volkswagens or previous cars that have autonomous braking, this one actually does come to a complete stop. Previous Volkswagens that would have autonomous braking, it would break all the way down to 20 miles an hour and then you'd have to kind of jump in and hit the brakes on it. As far as the interior goes, I really like the interior of this new touchscreen radio. Very, very nice touchscreen. It's well sized. Finally, I mean, the other screens that were on, like the Tiguan, it just seemed a little too small, especially for what was already out there in the market. But the one that they have now, it's a really good sized touchscreen. Also, another thing too is that this is the first Volkswagen to have Wi-Fi in the car. So that's pretty awesome. I mean, that they really, really didn't need that. Now, I probably already mentioned it, but I'm just gonna mention it one more time. This car has 20 inch wheels, and you can get that in the SEL Premium model. Really nice, it makes it just look that much more aggressive when you're in the car. Uh, also, the car looks very masculine too when you're on the outside, I mean, look at it, it's, it just looks a little beefy, you know, it, it, the edges are not very simple. It is nice, however, it is just, you know, has that aggressive, sporty look to it, you know. I really, really like that about the Volkswagen Atlas. Okay, let's see, I'm gonna go on here and give it some gas, see what it sounds like. Let's see. And even out here in the rain, you know, if you, I, didn't, I mean, I wasn't gunning it. However, even out in the rain, you can really feel, you know, the four motion, you know, and feel really the traction that it develops with this car, you know, different from a regular front wheel drive car. For those of you that don't know what four motion is, it's Volkswagen's version of four wheel drive. So what it is, is that it's normally a front wheel drive car. However, if there is a need for grip in the back tires, it'll give power to the back tires as well, making it a four wheel drive vehicle. So if you're taking a turn and you need some more grip, more power will go to the rear wheels to give it that extra grip that it needs. You also have a nice kick feature where you can go and kick the bottom of the uh, bumper and, or not really, you kind of like wave your foot over the bumper and what will happen is that the back gate for the trunk will open up, so that's really nice as well. They've had that at the Passat and they've had that in other vehicles from Volkswagen, but it's a really nice touch, you know, I mean, you're gonna be driving a, you know, 
a family car and if you're gonna have groceries on your hands you really don't want to go and have to you know if you have groceries you don't really want to put your groceries down and then go and open it it's just nice to know that you can just go and give it a little kick and then it opens so the car also has a 360 camera so when you're going in reverse you can really see all angles of what's going on really nice feature for Volkswagen especially since you really see that in like a higher class model like an Infiniti or Mercedes or BMW so it's a nice technology feature to have in the car you also have standard features that you know aren't so new to the Volkswagen game but are nice to have in the car like for example a push-button start a keyless entry you have uh, the dual climate control settings blind spot monitoring of course a panoramic sunroof which is very nice you also have park pilot which will let you know you know when you're reversing if you're getting too close to something else Oh, the 360 camera looks pretty cool. It's my first time actually using it. it. Works great. Also, another feature too that I just realized is this also has a start-stop for the engine right now. So if I go and put this car in park, the engine turns off. Now, if I go and put it in drive, the engine turns back on. Really, really nice feature. Great on gas savings overall. I love the feature. So the steering wheel will actually unlock, it'll actually turn back on if you need to move the steering wheel. So that's another really cool feature too. So if I'm gonna go and turn or go somewhere, it'll turn right back on. That's also really, really clever. Cause I haven't seen that in a lot of cars that have start stop. Like for example, I, I went and uh, test drove the uh, previous generation Panamera from Porsche and the start stop in that car was so annoying because to engage and turn the engine back on was a pain in the butt. But this car, you know, you just turn the wheel, turns on, you go and put it in drive, turns on, you know, hit the gas, it turns on. So it's very, very sensitive and will turn back on whenever you really need it. You also have a lot of nice driver select modes. You just go and change the dial there and it'll put it on winter or sport. If you're going on the mountains, depends where you're going, it'll go and adjust to your settings or adjust to wherever you're at. So that's a nice feature too. I also, um, I went and listened to the music earlier. The sound system sounds very nice. I really like the Fender audio system. I mean, they've had that for a while, however, I really enjoy the Fender audio system too. The USB cables everywhere, USB ports are all over the place. You have in the front, the back, the sides. You also have an air if you needed to actually plug something in. So that's actually a very nice as well. Also really cool feature, you can control the air conditioning from the back seat too. So if you want to go and change not just fan speed, but if you want to actually change, change the temperature in the back, that's also a feature you have too, which is also really nice because it's just something you don't see in uh, more uh, affordable vehicles. It's something you see in more classy luxury vehicles, so I like that as well. You also have nice features like Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, like other vehicles that they have, have it as well. Also a very nice feature to have too. Just use your phone through the screen and there you go, it's pretty awesome. So another really nice thing about the car is it has air conditioned seats, which is so nice. Oh my goodness, that's really great. On top of heated seats, however, for somebody like me who's in Florida, heated seats are not as useful, but air conditioned seats, oh my God. Thank you, thank you Jesus. Ooh. But the thing that's so alluring about the vehicle is not just all the tech and all the stuff that's in the car, uh, but the big thing is for me is when driving it, it feels so nimble. You really can't tell the difference. You really can't tell the difference as far as like that you're driving a Atlas or a Tiguan as far as the size goes. It doesn't feel bigger, it feels nimble. It makes you feel confident when you're driving it. You don't feel like you're driving around this big sluggish machine. It just feels good overall. And for that reason, I think that the Atlas is an awesome choice and I think it's gonna do amazing in its segment. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. There's so many things about this car that I go over and it would take me a day to go over everything. But I don't have a whole day, so that's everything I've got for you today, guys. That concludes my video. I appreciate all of you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, I suggest going and hitting that subscribe button, hitting a like, and if you want to comment with me, I'm very responsive on the comments. My name's Hector. This is Torque Junkies. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye-bye.